Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Lime Simulator. I mean, Farming Simulator 2022, No Man's Land Survival Challenge. Yeah, uh, we need to quickly apply some lime to this field because uh, yeah, its pH balance is horrendous. And you can look a little mini map in the corner. Uh, you know, we're getting green, which is which is good because this will help help bring in the green. Yeah, yeah, that that sounds good. So I think what we can do, we're probably good to set this off on a helper because it's going to do a better job uh, driving today than I am. So there we go. Off on it. Actually, you know what? The helper will do a better job if I am not having it, you know, basically uh, line the, uh, the forest field there. Okay, so what else do we need to get up to? So the fun and exciting part is, is recall last episode, I was contemplating buying another field. So we've got this field area in front of us. Hmm, I actually wonder how far it goes. We can zoop around and see our ever expanding farm. We also have this field over here, as you can see. So it goes beyond the trees because you can't even see them on map 38. Like, so got some rocks here. So I think this, if we were to buy this field, this would be a natural dividing area. As you can see, it comes right up a little bit the, about here. So that would be pretty big onto itself. Hmm, maybe a tad too big. Is that is that possible? So if we slowly fly our way over. We can see we can get over here to the corner. So the road goes through 46. But we could expand that and we might need to buy that field as well. So you know what? I'm I'm feeling field 47. Oh, boom. Cut the ground too. So let's come in and let's buy field 47. There we go. Uh, bye. Thank you very much. You are now part of the, the family. Let's go find. There we go. Our handy dandy cultivator. So let's well, we'll have to map this one out. See if we can do it a little quicker than last time. So come along here. Oh, you were already lowered. And create new field. There you go. So I have a feeling we can probably get as close as we want now. Remember, we're just kind of avoiding that little hill area. And then we can come up here. Oh, there's a rock there. Now, I do wish I could easily get rid of those rocks well there's one way and there is a little post up by the uh, the store get rid of them all but uh, that I don't want to do so I think that might become another natural dividing area as we come up along here so why don't we swing around this way We'll leave a little space in case the helper has some problems. Got some trees in the middle we're going to have to get rid of. Well, not these. These. Uh, once again, we can now just do a little turn. Small incline is fine. But I think we kind of just make a beeline right between those trees. And yeah, so this, this should become a nice, nice size field. So it's gonna, gonna take a bit of work. So let's just uh, crack on and get her done.
Just a very quick interlude here uh, from Creating the Field, which we're basically done, which you'll see here in a second. But uh, what is not done is, well, I guess it's done, but not done is the helper with the, the lime here on this soybean field. Apparently, uh, they ran out. So uh, we've got three bags, well, almost three bags. Ooh, and I thought we had gotten more done. Ooh, we might need to even go back to the store to get more. Okay, can I... Yeah, perfect. From here, I can just fill it up. I wonder how many bags this takes. So when I stopped and well, came here, I'm like, oh, okay, not bad. And then I kind of look and feel like there's a lot more. A lot more. But it is what it is. Ooh, barely caught that bag. All right, 55%. Away you go. As it leaves me in the literal dust. Lime dust, that is. So, probably need to head off to the store, get some more. But uh, let's, let's just finish off uh, creating the new field. And then we can see where the helper helper's at. Just finishing up this field, got rid of all the trees, uh, patches of grass where the trees were. Uh, yeah, that's, and there were trees there. Please don't go back and look at the videos. No, I did not go off a skew in this area. Okay, yeah, th this little patch, I got distracted. Uh, but there, that patch, there were trees. And those trees are now gone, so it's all good, right? So, yeah, I, I think we're fine. So, now what's not fine is, as predicted, somebody, somebody, not going to mention a helper's name, uh, ran out of lime, refuses, refuses categorically to uh, go to the store. So, we're going to have to make a quick pit stop, because I don't think I have any more lime at the farm. I think I only had those two bags in a bit. Ooh. We found... A log, but you know what? With the handy dandy, uh oh, uh oh, where'd you go? Where did you go? Oh, there you are. Chainsaw, mother, uh, gone. And we've got a get rid of that weed. Bits of grass. Yeah, did install. Yeah, okay. This this is a little cheeky. Um, we can wash horribly <laughs> from. Yeah, we just, we just carry a power washer with us everywhere we go. As you can see, tractor is getting cleaner and cleaner by the moment. And we're, we're now 100% clean. Perfect. Oh, not perfect. Perfect. So we do, actually, let's go take uh, this fellow head up to the store. Why are we leaving a mess of things up here? Okay, so let's, let's come in. Uh, bags, lime, let's get eight bags. That should do the trick. Just need to get these loaded up. Although I'm not sure if it's going to take all eight. Got all eight. Now, actually, before we head back, uh, we, we do need to uh, give this tractor a little TLC. We, we, we could sell it, but... It does the job it's it's now got, so... Ooh. Although, I just spent $8,000 on it, and the value is under three. So, perfect. And now we just gotta get ourselves back to the field, fill up the lime spreader, and then we can get finishing off our, our brand new field. Yeah, you can see that new field coming along. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Uh, and actually, a uh, good spot to pull off. Take our nice little uh, side trail here. Ooh, you can see this field needing some uh, TLC as well. Man, needy fields today. And actually, you can see how close we are to finishing that field. Now, it does make me wonder, is there a bigger, badder lime spreader out there that I should be looking at? Because it would be nice to finish at least one field. One field with a full load. Um, so this was probably close to needing 
two full loads to, to finish. It is a big field, but my fields are getting bigger. So something we need to think about. So just quickly get this all filled up. There we go. There the helper goes. Once again, <coughs> left in the dust. Oh, that's not good for the lungs. Okay, so they can finish off. We'll just uh, pull up out of the way. Find our cultivator. There we go. As you can see, just little bits and bobs to go. Like, well, that little bit. That we tried watering, and uh, yeah, it didn't do much. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Now, somebody remind me, we got all our logs right up by that log. The log. We got all the logs by the logs. By the rock. Okay, so there we go. Uh, this is now done. Perfecto. Okay, so I think we can just pull off the side here. We'll leave this tractor up here with the cultivator just in case. But... Before we start planting, we do need to get the uh, soil sampler. Let's do. Let's let's go do that. Soil sampling the field is is quite easy. I'm just going to come up here and and just take our time basically. So now it is a time-consuming aspect. It's a very large field. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to do a quick jump cut and uh, have this entire field uh, sampled. Well, this has taken a few moments to get done because dang, it is a humongous field and it's going to be great to start planting here momentarily. So, but first, gotta finish this. Uh, and we send off soil samples. Yeah, with the Y key, there we go. Please send them off to the lab, thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. I'll make everything just a tad more efficient. Hold that back up. And I think actually we're going to get... Not that. Oh, you're done. That's nice. Uh, this guy. Because it is the bigger, stronger, more powerful one. And uh, in fact, because I think last time we had that one. Pull this. Uh, let's see how well... She does here. Wow. $1,250 in soil samples. Yeah, that cost a pretty penny. So we can start by unfolding this. Well, Mr. Transformer, you can do it. Maybe we'll stop here. Just appreciate it. Wheels come down, spreads out. It's actually pulling me back just a tad. But there we go. And yes, we are going to do cotton again. This is going to be our second cotton field. In fact, it, it's putting the first one to shame, to be honest. So, whoop. what we're going to do is come up here. And if, you might notice I got rid of the tree that was up here because I knew that was going to cause problems. But we'll come along the headland, at least up here. Get this done. You can see logs by the logs. I mean logs by the rock. Yeah, because the helper is probably going to have a bit of a problem. Not too much of one, I, I would hope. It is an odd-shaped field. Now, I, I do prefer nice and straight, rectangular kind of fields, because the helpers just have such an easier time. But it's also nice to have some interesting fields. So this should really help with our clothing empire. Gonna have to check in on oop the spinnery. Might need to cut down that tree. So this is the one really odd part shaped of the field. But I likes it. And I left that there in case I want to park some equipment for now. We have to figure some things out. And it looks like we just hugged the line everywhere, so we should be fine. Though I probably should have rounded this corner. 
But we will do a little bit of a loop-de-loop, -loop, make it easier on ourselves. Whoa! What the? We're actually, notice that, we are off track. That, uh, that was surprising. That's all from just, uh, raising the, uh, planter. Weird. Very weird. Okay, let's see. Ooh, as we go around like a, a drunken farmer here. So we should be able to do quite well. So yes, clothing empire growing. Uh, it's going to take a bit, but it's also going to make uh, buying a cotton harvester, or at least leasing one, uh, that much more financially viable. Although the size of this field, well, it might be best to, just to buy one. The one I want is like eight hundred thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. But hopefully by then we'll be selling some of our first clothing. Ooh, come on, you can make the turn, make the turn, make the turn. There we go. See? Easy peasy. So I think what we can do, as soon as we get to the corner here, we can set this off on a on a worker. Should we go up and down, up and down quite well? Hopefully it does this corner. We'll we'll find out. But Gotta risk it for a biscuit, so I might miss the edge. And that is why I left the cultivator. So you can see what I'm seeing, that little crescent shape there. I think we should clean that up. I will admit this looked uh, more necessary when I was cultivating it. But I think in the sense of having a helper and even just myself, cutting that off is going to be a good call. There we go. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better, don't you think? I just need to get uh, going again. Oop. Speaking of going, it goes a lot better if you turn it on. There you go. So yeah, that is much, much better. And I think what we will do is just past that shrub up there. Kind of see it curves to the right and then straightens out. I think we'll wait for that and then we'll set off on a helper. And hopefully she does a good job. So we gotta get this done. And we have at least two errands to run. Or one errand and one chore. Okay, so let's set that off on a helper. See how you do. Uh, let's find a tractor. In fact, this one would do quite well. Actually, hang on. Do I have another farm chore to do? Uh, pH, uh, this field could use, it looks like a bit of lime as well. So I think what we're gonna do Yeah, it needs some wine. We can make this a tad more productive. All right, so we have three chores to do, this being one. Um, hmm. Yeah, so one of them is, is a very sweet chore. Um, you, you might know what that is. And the other one is our poor chickens are out of feed. Uh, so we've got to feed them. But before we do that, I, th I think it's time to invest in another trailer. Like, hey, Sarda, you got a big, big ass trailer. Yeah, I do, which is really overkill for feeding the chickens. It's it's like trying to, uh, well, technically it's like, it is a tool, it does work, but you know what? There's a better purpose built uh, implement, AKA a smaller, smaller tractor uh, or smaller trailer uh, for that. Okay, so with this, we'll loop around here. And it does look like we need to get the weeder here, but I think we can do that next time. We probably should do a quick check on all our other fields, because wowzers, lot, lots to do here today, but time is running out. So let's turn the corner, set you off on a helper. 
might have a little more work to do later. Hang on. Where are you going? You're going right for that rock? Good job, buddy. Good job. So let's take over. Maybe we'll pick up on this side and see how you do. There you go. Where are you going? Okay, you're just doing a loop-de-loop? -loop? Okay, you're doing fine, actually. Uh, you know what? Uh, you are no longer needed here. So let's get you back to the farm. Well, Messy Sargon had to uh, run back to the store before he could go to the store. Yes, this trailer, yeah, you saw it earlier, left at the store. So if you guessed it, yes, our honey needs to be uh, picked up and taken to the store because it is prime selling month. So it's probably going to be easier for us to swing by around this side, pick up all these pallets. There we go. So pretty decent load here. So let's just uh, zip up and get these uh, to the store. This is unlikely to bring in tons of money, maybe 17, 18, upwards of $20,000. But you know what? I think we're gonna transform this honey into that new trailer we're looking to buy. All right, let's see how this uh, prediction holds true. Ooh, 18, yeah, nearly $20,000. That's pretty So sweet. Yes, yes. Okay, well, let's have a look to see if there's anything on sale that we want. The answer is no, although that side dump looks pretty good, but I don't think, then we don't have a semi, uh, semi trailer. So, okay. So uh, let's come into here, uh, trailers. I'm, I'm thinking, what is this? Uh, we really don't, that, that's too small. I think this one's just fine. Uh, I think it's going to be perfect. Let's do, oh, green color. Uh, wheel setup is fine. Do two different configurations, cover. All right, well, let's let's buy this fella. There we go. Welcome to the, uh, oh, well, to the farm. We'll get there soon. Now, I mentioned earlier about getting rid of the rocks. One of those two signs will remove the rocks. And the other one will remove all the original map trees, which I think this would make uh, this map pretty darn naked looking. So props to the mo uh, mob builder, the map builder. The trees do look well placed in the sense of provides nice dimension to the area. So let's get this to the farm and let's get some uh, chickens fed. Well, the helper thinks they're done. Um, I'm going to say not done not done at all so let's stop here for a second we did a decent job it just obviously the shape of the field confuses the helper can't raise it up it does not like the wide turns So, but I think from here, if we put the helper back on, oh, hang on, we want, no, 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 two reasons for that, no, missed a little patch ourselves before we got the helper on, and the second, it was going off in a, oops, did we forget to turn something on? Okay, go down, turn on, there we go. Much better. Turn that off on a helper, perfect. And I do think the other helper thinks they're done as well. We should have a look at that. See, there's the big massive trailer. Great for uh, harvest, but uh, it's overkill for this. Uh, the helper here did a decent-ish job. It's hard to tell with the graphics, but Looks mostly done, but we'll have a look, see there. So, need to open the cover. 
which I really actually have on. I don't know why I paid for it. There we go. But this will make it much easier to come in through here. Ooh, so easy. I sped right through. Grab this. Pull up to here. And we'll see whether 8,000 liters is too much, too little. Where is... Oh, there we go. Well, hungry, hungry chickens. Wow, they took all of it. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should have gotten the bigger one. Let's have a quick look-see. They yeah, nearly filled it. It's not bad. So I, th I think we're fine for now. Okay, so let's go check up on Mr. Helper here. Wow. Okay. Uh, that, that wasn't me. So let's see. They mostly did a good job. Oh, you know what? I think I know what's going on here. And this is just a... T well, not there. Okay. That's fine. That little bit looks like a texture glitch. This does not. This looks like it completely missed it. But it also looks like it missed the front as well. So yeah, it missed this. But as you see, we get closer, the texture changes. So the question is, did it miss over there? It kind of looks like it did. That's the hard part, hard to tell. Although if I look at the mini map, you can see a yellow patch as we drive away from it, but I think it completely missed. Once again, as we discussed a little earlier, challenge of the odd shaped fields. Yep, missed. That's where I went around the rock, but I thought I got that piss. Oh my goodness, excuse me, that piece. Wowzers! And yeah, no, let's, let's just let that one slip by. Perfect. Automatically shuts itself off. Because it knows it doesn't need to apply any there. It's pretty decent. Uh, okay, so yeah, we missed some. So, but I think with that, I think this is a good spot to leave it. So next time, I think we'll be having a new crop. So, like, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye for now.